Hi, I'm Jay, and today I'm going to show in detail how I go about striping patterns that I tie, such as fire tiger, sandpike, and perch. Stay tuned. So I've been at the bench tying those patterns like perch, sandpike, and fire tiger that uh, once the jig is tied, we also add uh, stripes to the tail. I've had a few requests recently um, to show that in a little bit more detail. Um, there's not a whole lot to it, so I thought we'd take a little bit of time this evening, the markers that I use, and just how to go about adding stripes to your bucktails. So before we start, uh, I'll just go over some of the markers I have right here on my desk that I use regularly. Uh, the first one being the regular Sharpie Fine Point. Um, I've had this on my desk for years and years. It was the first permanent marker that I would use to stripe with. Uh, the next, also a Sharpie, the Sharpie Industrial. Not much difference between these two. I'm sure there's some sort of um, difference in the quality of the marker. Um, I don't really see it, at least in this application. Uh, both of them are really good. Can't go wrong with either either of these. The next marker we have is the uh, Sharpie Pro. This I pick up at big box stores. Um, they use them on construction sites and in carpentry and whatnot. Uh, this could be my go-to marker if it just wasn't for the shape of the barrel. Uh, it's kind of, it's flat probably so it doesn't roll off the table or off a roof, that type of thing on a construction site. Overall the quality of the tip and the blackness of the ink uh, I think is perfect. I just don't like holding this shape when I'm trying to do the, the stripes. You know, to me, with a round barrel, I can turn it, you know, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, you know, if I wanted just a different feel, get a different, use a different section of that tip as I'm striping, it's easier for me with a round barrel handle as opposed to a square. Now on my channel, I have a video that I did a year or so ago, um, going through a whole bunch of different markers everything from the Sharpies that I pick up at a big box store to some of the more expensive permanent markers that you'd buy at a fly shop. Talking about the pros and cons of each of those and ending with my top choice of the tool that I like to use day to day on my tying desk. So the last marker I have in this bunch of the uh, permanent markers that I currently have on my desk is the Milwaukee Inksall. This is my current favorite. As you can see, it does have that round handle. It has the exact same tip as the uh, Sharpie. It might be slightly thinner. Uh, the ink on this looks beautiful, nice, dark, crisp lines. Uh, and I've, uh, you know, you pick these up at the big box stores. I've been using the Milwaukee uh, Inksall probably two or three years now. And I just love it. it this, is, this is my current favorite. We will first stripe the sandpike jig. This is a natural brown back with a natural white belly. And I'm going to just use my ink saw. I unlock my vise so I can rotate it forward and back just so I can get a nice view uh, of each side of the jig. You want to make sure that your hair is centered on the hook already. So let's see, we'll, st we'll do this from the very beginning. When you pick up your jig, I usually double check the hairs just by picking them up and dropping them down just so the point is in the middle. I'll put the jig in the vise. It doesn't have to be in the exact same spot as if I was tying because I'm not wrapping anything on this. So as long as it's in there nice and tight so it doesn't move, I'll unlock my just so I can get a good view of one side and then I just run my fingers along the hair bringing them back almost like you're grabbing a ponytail and then just add your stripes and I can turn it to the 
other side. And again, just grab the hair and you can see where the line is on the first side. And you just add the stripe on the second side. So when I'm holding the hairs together, that stripe is very prominent and shows up. But if it's in the water and starts to separate, some of those lines will distort just a little bit, become a little bit blurry, and then as you pull it through the water, they're going to tighten up again. Real nice way to represent the stripes on the side of a fish. Here we are with our fire tiger pattern. Now I use a purple thread for the collar and I like to copy that. So I'll go with Sharpie, fine point, permanent. But this one's purple. Again, make sure that hair is centered on the jig, jig hook itself. Stripe one side and turn. And add your four stripes to the other side. And that's all there is to it. So if you enjoyed what we did here today, add some comments down below and just let me know if you have any questions, include those as well. I'll be sure to read those and respond to those. Uh, as always, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any new content. Keep tying and until next time guys, tight lines.